Hey, it's Angie, guys. Um, today I'm going to speak to you uh, via cell phone again. I'm sorry about that because my um, new computer is giving me some drama with the camera situation. And I'm really frustrated because I'm in the middle of recording the business series that I promised you guys. But I wanted to step in back in and say hi to you and tell you a couple of things. First of all, I just got off the phone with a client who I really enjoy. Uh, she's from Canada. She's someone who, um, she works in a research field and she's incredibly smart. <laughs> I mean, we're all smart people, right? But this woman had this idea and I asked her for permission to share it with you because it's such a great idea. She totally gave it to me. So I, I hope you guys are exci as excited as I am when you hear it. It's awesome. Okay. So if you're not sure that you're dealing with a narcissist and, and you want proof of the patterns of the behavior of the things because we doubt ourselves we have a lot of cognitive dissonance due to the way that we've been treated by our narcissist right so understanding that this lady works in research and she says to me she says so what I did was I got out my calendar her outlook calendar you can also do this in Google which is what I prefer to use the Google Calendar or iCal or whatever and she said what I did was I started making notes in a certain color so I think it was orange okay so she picked orange and so whenever she made um, Whenever she had an issue with a narcissist, she would mark it in orange on the on her calendar, right? And then she'd write down what happened. And then she'd also write down, you know, in blue she'd put the time she spent with him, and in and in this other, in like turquoise she'd put the time he was spending with these other people in his life. And she she started to notice that every time before, you know, the narcissist would always pick fights with her, okay? And it would always be in order to get out of something like a commitment that he had with her or a commitment that she had with him. So, for example, um, you know, he was supposed to go visit with some other people in his life and, you know, she would want to go with him, of course. And he would inevitably not want her to go because he didn't, in my opinion, he just wanted the full attention of whoever was with him. He didn't want to share the attention. Right. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, so she started to notice that every weekend before or every week or whatever before she, these people would be you know before he would see these people there was a pattern he'd start a fight so he she couldn't join him to see the people now this is the most intelligent thing I've heard all day because listen you guys <laughs> it's really really smart right it's a smart way because it, it offers you a sort of I mean this is how researchers do research people they look for patterns they look for things like this so Here's some research. Do your own personal scientific research on your narcissist. Check the patterns. Put your put the behavior in orange or red or whatever color you want anytime you notice a certain type of behavior and keep other events in other colors and you'll start to notice different behaviors fitting in with different events. You'll start to see the pattern and is that a good thing? I don't know. It depends on what you think. It depends on what works for you. So I had to share the idea. It's excellent, right? Yeah. One more thing she said to me that really stuck out in my head. And that was, she said that, her friend said this to her. She said, her friend said, if you're being manipulated, no, let me start over. <laughs> she said, she was talking to a friend about how she felt confused a lot in the relationship. And her friend said to her, if you feel confused all the time, you're being manipulated. I think that's profound. If you feel confused all the time, you're being manipulated. Feel me? All right. I'm still working on the business series. It's coming soon. Um, like I said, if I can't get the, if I can't get my uh, Camtasia situ situation <laughs> resolved with a camera on my computer, um, I will be back with regular, com you know, nicer videos again on whatever day the camera comes. And I've got a new Canon something or other coming. I'm so excited. And I've got a professional mic and a nice little light setup. So I've already got some lights, but better lights. So, we're going to get better. You're going to see me better and hear me better. I know you're so thrilled about that. Woo! Anyway. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to wrap it up, but I just wanted to touch base. All right? I'll see you tomorrow, if not sooner. Um, until then, have a wonderful day and, you know, hugs, love, and thanks for being a part of my life, and thanks for letting me be a part of yours. I'll see you soon.